Hello everyone and welcome to the Gun and Gallade. Hope you all have had an absolutely wonderful weekend. I know that I'm having a good one too. We're at the end of August and this means in 2021 Evolving Skies was released. This set is an absolute um, coagulation of madness as there are dragon types, there are evolutions, there are alternate arts. It's wild. Um, this is the second set not the second, but this is, I would say, the second, like, crazy big set in the Sword and Shield era. Obviously, Battle Styles was big, and all that jazz, um, and Chilling Rain was wild. Chilling Rain was really wild, but I'm going to crack a booster box of Evolving Skies. Uh, and also, this is time for me to uh, announce, well, as some of you were very patient with me, or I saw your comments in the last video, so thank you. I'm going to be giving away this Evolving Skies Build and Battle Box. I got this from Cardboard Classics. These guys are absolutely spectacular. And I'll be throwing in some extras for the trivia. Uh, and this is what I got from Game Nation. They were so, so wondrous and wonderful in giving me these little extras. There's also this Pokemon Lanyard. I should probably leave this in here. Um, this lanyard, which is I think is always fun to have. And uh, also this like pretty big EV poster, Evolution poster. So it's very much a sign of this time and era for the TCG. So let us find out what are the three questions. They're also going to be down below. So um, they are, what was the most recent... PSA 10 slab I posted on Instagram, okay? Question two is, what is the first alt art I ever pulled from Evolving Skies? That one should be kind of easy. And the last question is, what is the first alt art I ever pulled? So that is all, that one's on YouTube. So here we go. And I'm going to crack into this, obviously, but that is, those are the three questions. Um to pull or get this guy I'm probably gonna do one of those like spin the wheel things which is fun so stay tuned I'll give a date but I'll help you all okay so just DM me if you're struggling on Instagram I'll answer it'll be easy just message me first and if you like the video oops I'm giving a show show that away didn't I um, but if you if you like the video or leave a comment on that video I'd appreciate it so this is also something I've been kind of working on because I'm going to do like a best of Sun sword and shield binder um, and I got this wonderful Charmander promo it kind of has a bit of a bleed this is from the wondrous uh, Rainbow Chew Official and yeah, you saw this already Pikachu VMAX is a card in my collection I can't believe it I honestly, eBay like yeah, it's a little off center but like whatever, it's the Chonky Chew this card is wild I can't believe it's in my possession I won a crazy bit on eBay that I didn't think I was going to win and all of a sudden I won and it was like less than half of what it is worth on the market so definitely wanted to acquire that and then another card because my wild Gallade booty is trying to complete so this binder from Game Genic. these are the binders I will be buying from now on but I'm working on Shilling Rain commonly known as Chilling Pain uh, but I'm working on the master set which is very exciting this is all stuff we'll look at when I when I get into the last card but you know it kind of kills me when I like I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so many cards. And then I look at this page and like, Zara Aura Alt Art. I need Rapidash V. I need Articuno V. And the Alt Art. Um, you know, I got lucky, obviously. I pulled this wonderful guy. I need the full art here. I need the Ice Rider at Calyrex um, on the other page. Um, Zapdos Alternate Art, Sandaconda. Here is like the. Well, wait, wicked alt art. So glad I was able to get these. Again, eBay has been good. This was the first alt art I pulled from Chilling Rain, which is very fun. And the other one was the Shadow Rider Calyrex, but no more packs for me unless they come in like some sort of special box. But like, look, did you know that there are 73 f um, all the way from the first full art to the last secret rare? 71, 73 in Chilling Rain, and in Evolving Skies, there's only 71. So. That's wild. There are way more trainers in the set. Oh, this is the other card. This big, thick, round boy. This is how I feel after eating a whole bunch of Pizza Hut tonight. So, uh, I was able to pull these two, which was very, very fun. And then the last page, I need the welcoming horn that's coming here. And then the energies. Hallelujah. So, 
that is my journey for this set. Now, if you excuse me, I think I've done enough talking, and it's time to rip into the booster box. Whoa! I need to moisten the palette before I begin. So, uh, I feel bad for a lot of people who are struggling to get their hands on the set. And I'll tell you, and I think Mason from Cardinal Gaming may have said this before, obviously... The value of trust uh, varies from consumer to seller, so to speak. But I do believe that if you show intent or show that you are, you know, a serious person when it comes to enjoying, ooh, look at this, I can do this. Am I going to do it though? How is this supposed to? Oh, this slides all the way down. This is what you see on shelves. Wow, if I was like five years old, not five, but like ten, and I would tell myself that someday I would get a whole booster box, I'd go crazy, but as I was saying, I was asking or contemplating whether or not it's true that, um, well, no, I was going to get to that after, but I was saying if like people who are struggling to get cards, what I think you can do is, if, if you are fortunate enough, enough to live near a local card shop, then you could potentially make friends there with the owner or one of the staff members there. And that is also just a really... Ooh, Raichu! And a hollow Galarian Zapdos. Wow, not too bad. Not too bad. But it's always possible to make friends with someone there who can maybe hook you up or give you some information or, you know, help you out. Ooh, we have a white code card. I peeked. So... I think those are just wonderful ways to to find out how you can uh, score some goodies. So I know that you know cardboard classics are really wonderful to me. Harry Tarantula is really good to me. Uh, Game Nation is also so good to me. Those these are like the best three stores. Some of the major players. Um, I think what happens is ooh V Max Espion. I really love this card. I pulled it the other day when I got that Duraludon V. But Espion V Max is a card I adore, and Espion is so cool. So I'm really happy about that. But as I was saying, um, ooh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Um. Right, so I just, I, I, I try to, I want to have a good experience at the stores that I go to, and, you know, sometimes it's, I mean, it doesn't have to always be about how much money you have to flex when you're there, but someone you can get to know, and if they care about their job, then you are in a very good position, because, you know, or they actually care about the game. Nothing bothers me more than feeling intimidated when I walk into a store, it's like, what am I, not, like, good enough for you or something, or... I don't know. It's it's really bizarre how some of the attitudes are. And I don't know about the musicians out there, but when I was younger and I'd go to a music store and I'd feel like really cool and I wasn't I wasn't one of those kids who were like I'm going to play that guitar and that guitar, but sometimes the guys there just make you not feel great. This is interesting. So, anyways, I believe that is a chance. And and online is a great resource too. I mean, it's so bizarre, though, because this set, it's like, pre-order, pre-orders have been so, you know, poorly managed, and I think this set was, like, very rushed. Um, something tells me that they they're, they just didn't really get it right. I mean, I haven't seen any ETBs, and I can only hope that there's an ETB kicking around somewhere soon, but I haven't seen a single one on the shelves around these parts, except for ones that were pre-ordered, and that's why a pre-order works, but, like, Pokemon Center... How do you guys mess it up? Like, Chilling Rain was a, was a disaster, and they're, and they're blaming it on global shipping delays. But yet, I just, I don't believe it. I think it's really silly that they, um, they're like staking this claim for one of the biggest sets in, in modern history, that they're going to be blaming it on global shipping delays. I just, I wish, oh, look at this, Fran. Um... 
I think there's something in this pack, so I'm gonna give it a moment and say boost shake, ribombe, uh, copycat, copycat, copycat. Oh, it's a rainbow, it's a rainbow. And Daddy, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Daddy? It's Annie, but why did I say Daddy? Hi. <laughs> that is beautiful. Look at this dainty little. Ha ha. Oops, pardon me. Ha ha. Umbreon VMAX Rainbowware makes itself welcome to my collection. And I love this card. I got the. Oh, so Umbreon's been good to me. And so has Leafeon, because I pulled the Leafeon. Um, I pulled the V, the V Max, the Full Art, and the Rainbow Rare. And wow, which is crazy, because I don't have. An Umbreon V. I was like, oh, I would really like. I wish that they made a Flareon Rainbow Rare. Like, come on, like the V Max or something. You'd think that they would like overcompensate or something and say, "Ooh, I did a little boo boo." Um. So, okay, I'm gonna do something that doesn't matter that much, but I'm gonna check. So I got. It. So I'm trying to see if if it's there's like a correlation between like what's the better side. So I got that Rainbow Rare in the 6th pack, and I have a theory that if you're like, I don't know how many packs I should buy, obviously it depends on your budget, but I think 6 is your magic number. We'll see now, because we're on 7, uh, and if there's going to be any changes, clearly the, um, did I do the card trick? I think so. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Anyways, I just wonder, because... And I have asked around, because there are obviously, you know, people buying stuff by the cases. Oh, I did this wrong. <laughs> I, like, reversed it. But I got an amphi. But uh, is it true that there are better or worse booster boxes in a case? And it's true. Statistically, it's going to happen that you might have one box that's just better than all the others. And you know what? You just won't know until it happens. So... That's the price you gotta pay. And I feel so bad for the people who spend so much money and then they don't get anything. <laughs> like one full art or something. Come on. I feel like every booster box, especially with a set that has so many hits, there has to be a chance to like get something. You can get an alt art. Oh, I think the best booster box you can get, I mean, I haven't seen this, but if you got like one alt art, one gold card... Um, and one alternate art, one gold card, one alt art, and a rainbow rare, that would be the best box you can get, in my humble opinion. So, I've had some contemplations. Am I going to pursue a master set? And I think the answer is, ooh, Galarian Moltres. I am undetermined still. I feel like down the line, in like five plus years... If you know that you have a master set of a set that's as crazy and confused as this, I think that would be really impressive. But at the same time, I don't know how I feel about it because they're so random. Like, why is why is Gyarados here? Why and why is Sylveon a psychic type? I know that they removed the fairy types, but like, you couldn't bring them back. You brought the dragon types, but you couldn't bring the fairy types. Okay, excuse me. So precious, are we? Why is wishy-washy a rare? Come on. Um, oh, see, I'm all about them. Well, I guess I got one uh, white code card in this like recent batch. But um, in general, I think this. I think. I think the. Well, the pulls aren't done yet, but let's see because I still want to test this out. Switching cups. So far, one side of the booster box was. I mean, the Rainbow Rare, so that's a good pull at the moment. Fairly valuable card. Don't ever buy singles right away. Don't do it. Because everything is going to calm down. And you know what I was really hoping? That Fusion Strike would not look so good. But it looks amazing. Did you all see that ETB? The two of them? Of course they make two ETBs. They're always going to make two ETBs because we're suckers and we're going to buy them both. Because they're making the boxes valuable now. Come on. How smart are they, knowing that we will, you know, the adults. I feel bad for the adults 
who have uh, little ones. I'm sure that they are. But you know what? I take that back because I bet you they're so much more reasonable with, um, I don't know, expectations or like what, um, you know, there's an allowance. There's there's like ways of being. You can't just be going and buying everything you want all the time. And when you're an adult and you're making your own money, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> And that sounds really fun, but if you don't really have a balance or like have some sort of clear cut goals, ooh, victory rent, then it's you're just spending so much money. I've seen a lot of people, I've never seen this before because I mean, I can say that I have a bit of tenure with the community, but I've never realized how the influx of like people opening product is nowadays. I can't complain. I mean, it's your money. If you can get it, go and do it. And if you're living in areas where you can do it, great. And if you're sharing some of the love and giving back, then good for you too. Oh, Vaporeon, Vaporeon. This has been an evolution party. Look at that. These two boys, and then this good boy. But I gotta put them in sleeves because I'm being mean if I don't do that. But yeah, I mean, like, if people... <laughs> People are able to, like, spend a thousand bucks a week on Pokemon cards? Damn. Damn, someone's got a good career or, or a great connection at the bank <laughs> to give them more limits <laughs> on their borrowing. But, I mean, to each their own. Do what you gotta do. And if you want something, create the means to get it or do it. And as vague as that does sound, I think there's a lot of truth there. Okay, so these are our three uh, ultra rares so far. So, what was I saying? Um, create the means you want to achieve the things you want in life, right? I mean, are we turning into a philosophy class here? I don't think so. I did try to take a philosophy class once in university. I did when I was, like, before university, and I wanted to learn how to write, and it became, like, a philosophy class slash like writing class and it was one of the most important classes I ever took you know how important it is to write okay and I'm just going to share with you a little pet peeve of mine um grammar matters I understand why sometimes people use like spell though like t-h-o because though you know though even though we all know the proper way but it doesn't really matter at this point but um but just grammar, like, if you're gonna try to make fun of something, don't do that in the first place, but get your, get your yours right. Ooh, this card slapped me in the tournament right at the end. So, like I was saying, um, writing matters, okay? Writing matters. I should get a t-shirt that says that, but then I'd look very precarious, so I won't do that. But, um, but I really think that, like, get your yours right. You are, okay? The short form of you are is you, apostrophe, Y-O-U, apostrophe, R-E. And your, oh, melodic. The next pack. Oh, it's a green code card. Okay, Teddy Ursa, Mareep, Zorwa, Hopip, Water Energy, Boldor, Aroma Lady, Rescue Carrier, Treasure Energy, and a Wishy Washy. All right, that's the first part. So out of 16 packs on, sorry, 18 packs on one side, we got three evolutions and one Rainbow Rare. So that's not bad. I'm going to give away a few code cards. Um... So, let's do the... Well, let's see. What was, like... How many white code cards did I pull? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Interesting. Interesting. So, almost half of them. So, let's go with this one. And then this one. And then that one. All right. Stay tuned for part two coming at you soon.